I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. It's a great way to test your instincts. You start out with a dealt hand and pick plan A. You go through the Charleston and then you use the same tiles with plan B and compare results. Plan A, plan B. Plan A would be your instincts. Plan B would be a fallback, which is also a good instinct. You get the idea. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a four, so we're going to be non-dealer in North Seat. I will get 13 tiles and then create a mock Charleston. Here's our dealt hand. We have jokers, a west, single dots, single bams, pair with our cracks. We have one, two, nine, one, nine. I think a year hand would be good here, but there's also potential for maybe like numbers with ones, maybe a quint if we could get flowers. Let's keep year tiles and play a year hand for plan A. Plan B may be like numbers with ones. Plan A, year, like numbers for plan B. So let's pass those. I'm going to take a photo though before we get started. That way we can recreate this dealt hand. I almost forgot to take a photo. photo. We got a one. Like numbers with ones. Or a year hand. Look at our pass here. Five, six, seven. That's pretty risky. Let's give up the west. Break that up a little bit. photo. We got year tiles. One discard. We're on uh, first left, right across left. So we have two zero one two nine one nine Two thousand nineteen one nine two thousand and nineteen one nine. We have no flowers. We can use these for the flowers. Let's break this up and pass these. We'll take a photo. Okay. 2019. Let's pass these three. This is a bit risky. This hand, though, is looking really good. Whoa. Oh, let's take a photo. 
Let's do 148. That's kind of risky, but so is 178. Actually, this might be less risky right here. 714. We'll take a photo there. Now we can maybe do a safe pass. Let's pass the east. There's a news hand with a pair of south, so I try not to pass south. We'll take a photo. Okay, I would break that up for a full pass for optional cross. We got the one back. I'd keep it. So we got four discards for a year hand. Didn't get any flowers, I'm not surprised. And we could use this for the flowers. The convention for this hand is singles, pung, pung. All we need is one flower and we can Kong, pung, pung, ready to win on a one, one bam. So I think a year hand was a good way to go. It's just which year hand, because we did have potential with the ones. Let's do this again though, and see if like numbers would come in. Or maybe even a quint, I think. We were thinking maybe a quint. That's what we started with. Now I'll build the Charleston. There's the Charleston. Like numbers with ones or a quint. So let's find a couple of passes here. Two, eight, nine, two, five, nine. Let's see. Here's two good passes. Well, semi good, I guess. Let's see, maybe this would be better if we gave a four in here. Two, four, nine. Five, eight, nine. Let's start here. One. Ones. West with ones. One. Five, eight, five, seven, nine, five, eight, nine, six, five, six. I think these are going to be risky no matter how you slice it. One suit, mixed suits. Let's pass these. Oh, that's really risky. That's, well, let's just see, maybe there'll be discards. Let's focus on one pass. Okay, the best pass we can do here. I think no matter how you slice this, it's gonna be risky. Five, nine, eight, let's try that. Actually, maybe this will be better. That's a little more jumbled. Okay, now, white, we'll keep it. Two, let's keep it for consecutive options. One, two, one, two. And we could pass one of each suit. One, west. Oh yeah, pair, pair west. Let's pass these three. Either a quint or like numbers with ones. No keepers. That's pretty risky pass right there. The four, not so much. 
four eight could be used together seven eight could be used together i don't like passing white dragons and i want to give myself options for like numbers with ones and there is a dragon hand okay we've got a south and an east and a five we've got west here let's just stay put and pass these no keepers but I'm not passing a pair and I don't want to pass the white we'll pass two oh we got the two back one one two yeah I don't think so I'd pass it I think I would probably go for a quint we could quint the one I'd still hold on to these because like numbers might come in and use this as joker bait. I would discard these first. Like numbers or a quint. Comparatively, I think the year hand was better. But this is a higher point hand even though there's a gap. It would be risky to go this way. The year hand, not so risky. One of the things that you could consider when you're making decisions is the value of the hand. The lower the value, the easier it will be to complete. So if you're still learning the game, go for 25 point hands. If you're more on the advanced side, go for the higher point hands, like a quint. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.